Welcome back guys, this is Crazy Walder with another random video coming at you guys. So I've had this idea kind of spinning around in my head for I think about a year, but it hasn't really quite come to fruition just yet and I haven't really been able to make the project happen. And also it wasn't quite in the same form uh, when I originally thought about it. So the idea here of course is uh, the smartphone night vision goggles. So using your smartphone to be able to see in the dark and specifically to be able to see in the dark using stereo vision which is exactly what humans have so something that you and I both have now this is pretty simple stuff basically it got really inspired uh, by the oculus rift which I got to test out the last summer uh, when I was over at a buddy's house which simply used a LCD screen and then two optics which allowed the user to look at the screen but more importantly it allowed the screen to be zoomed in and very close to the user's eyes specifically at a distance of about maybe three inches away. Now those of you who are familiar uh, with looking at objects really close to you, you might know that if an object is about four inches away from your face to four and a half, that's when you can actually focus on it up close. However, if it's any closer than that, generally you can't. But this is something the Oculus Rift actually solved using these lenses. And so my project aims to actually do the same thing. So you'll be able to take your smartphone and look at it from about two and a half to three inches away using aspheric lenses. Now, it would have an enclosure very similar to the one that you're seeing in front of you right now. Pretty simple stuff. And the next step, of course, is to actually put the smartphone in this enclosure so that you'll be able to look at the screen. And the idea here is that modern smartphones are self-contained. You know, you're able to run an application on there which would allow you to make use of pushing two separate images to each eye which is crucial for having stereo vision but also they have the processing power and the high definition screens as well as a battery all within one simple device so that any user can use um, this enclosure and then simply put their smartphone into it to look at it. Now the idea here is that you would need to also have a set of stereo cameras now an external one might not be so great because the current USB 2.0 devices that are available are unfortunately slow so they will create latency which is visible to the user and of course it takes you out of the experience and potentially ruins uh, whatever depth perception you might have and the other problem of course is that the cameras do need to be eye length apart so that you will actually have the perception of depth which is needed uh, for this project it is something that I thought about and it you know kinda hit me that you basically do need to have the cameras apart they can't just be very close together um, and this will probably need to be adjustable to the user's eyes as well. Now the current prototypes as I've been saying simply don't work that way and they're a bit slow. Now the other thing you're going to also need is infrared illumination. This will be an active night vision device meaning that unlike a lot of the military goggles that you see out there which use passive light and light amplification tubes this will use a form of active night vision, meaning lights will be shining out, but not the kind of lights human eyes can see, because I'm specifically thinking of LEDs, or LEDs, yes, infrared, that use a 925, I believe, nanometer wavelength, so that's not something that's visible to the human eye. Now, why am I doing this? Well, I've had this thought just sort of spinning around in the back of my head that you could potentially use this for different kinds of research, it could be a toy, it could also be made into something that's a product that you would be able to sell you know, to people and obviously it would be much cheaper than a set of night vision goggles because really you'd just be selling the enclosure for a phone and you know, possibly maybe with a camera or two cameras attached to it. Now the problem with night vision using your regular monoculars or binoculars that are out there available, for one they're extremely expensive. Um, you're looking at over $200 for even a semi-decent piece of night vision equipment to anywhere, you know, for example, like with these panoramic night vision goggles to the price of a really high-end sedan, which is like 60 to 70 grand. That's U.S. dollars, of course. But the panoramic night vision goggles have the advantage of allowing you to see in 97 degree field of vision versus the 40 degrees that you're afforded with the regular set of binoculars or monoculars. Now my device would essentially allow the user to see anywhere from between 60 to 70 degrees so it kind of fits right in the middle between the two but at a fraction of the cost. Now of course these devices that the military uses are really high grade they use generation 3 possibly generation 3 plus light amplification tubes so their quality is pretty darn good probably almost indistinguishable from you know just looking at the environment around you if there was light around it 
but of course they do cost a lot of money and I have not had a chance to test them myself so I'm not entirely sure as to how good they actually do look but I can only assume it's pretty darn good but again you're you're paying a lot of money for this kind of stuff and it's using really high grade optics the kind of stuff that basically the average user simply can't afford and it puts them out of reach for a lot of people and certainly a lot of states here in California for example we're not allowed to have these night vision goggles. They're considered spying devices, I believe, or something along those lines. So it's just not viable. Now, modern cameras, they're high resolution, and they're also fairly cheap. So putting something like this out there wouldn't be too hard if you can get yourself uh, you know, a set of cameras that are far enough apart so that they're basically at the same length apart as the human eye. And also, it'd be fairly easy to put them into an enclosure. Now, I don't have the knowledge or the facilities around me to be able to even 3D print something like this like a prototype to show someone but my idea is to basically get this out to the people so that maybe somebody will be able to make it it is a pretty cool concept after all and uh, the devices already exist out there but of course ideally it'd be nice to have um, some sort of smartphone that does this now there are current solutions that use something very similar like for example what you're seeing here is the poppy which allows you to use your iPhone you know 5 for example and then take 3D photos and it allows you to also look at them in 3D using a very similar technology to what the Oculus Rift uses but again the problem here is that for viewing this kind of stuff you would need an iPhone specifically not just any sort of smartphone and while the iPhone is really great it's got a really good retina screen on it and everything this simply does not allow you to look at stuff you know at night I mean you could potentially attach infrared LEDs to this device as well and use it that way but it's really clunky it's really big and honestly you're probably not going to get quite the same high resolution picture out of this as you would out of for example using cameras that are actually facing forward the poppy for example uses a lot of optics uh, to make the image look 3d it's not very complex if you've ever seen those old school um, stereo toys that they use a very similar technology to this and it allows you to look at two photos at the same time and it makes it look like it's 3D sort of the same concept behind the poppy as well but of course it is a consumer device and it's done fairly well but not quite what I'm looking for so as I was saying you would need some sort of smartphone that has 3D cameras now they do exist out there right now today as it is but the problem is that the cameras are too close together which means for using them as a night vision goggle type application or a night optic device it simply would not work properly because they're for one offset from the eyes but two too close together to be able to reproduce the effect properly and what you'll find is that you will actually lose depth perception uh, over a certain number of feet in front of you so you won't be able to see properly now the reason why this is cool and also at the same time kind of relevant is because it looks like there's actually a market for this kind of stuff out there as we have seen there have been binoculars and monoculars released out there for kids um, you know as toys and specifically the uh, the Iclops that which you see in the top left corner here which is one that I owned actually it was a pretty cool nifty device that used the camera and some infrared LEDs to allow you to see in the dark and you could see up to about 50 feet and it was really great but the problem was that it used only one camera and a very small screen and you lost all sense of depth perception when trying to walk or run in these especially if you're running but also the quality was definitely not so great now they went on to release the binoculars which you see directly below that but again sort of the same issue is that even though this time they actually did allow you to look at two screens as opposed to just one screen it was still only using one camera and of course you're lacking depth perception and the screens were very cheap and very low quality so again it didn't do a whole lot and the problem with this particular setup is that it was incredibly long and if you were to attach a device like this to your head which is sort of what I'm aiming to do with my device then it would simply stick out way too far now Spynet kind of countered that by releasing a shorter version of that same device essentially again using a camera and some infrared LEDs and two screens and the quality was a little bit better but it simply was not up to par to what I want to achieve with my device and I'm really hoping that somebody you know can take this idea and make it into something real or possibly just even come up with a prototype because it seems like it'd be a really nice device that could be used for a lot of different things aside from you know maybe not having military applications necessarily because it would not be military grade but 
could be used for some really cool research. Uh, could be used in high schools and middle schools for just showing people the different uh, wavelengths and the spectrums there are on you know stuff that we can't see with our human eyes, but you know this kind of stuff that allows night vision cameras, for example, or even regular cameras to be able to see in the dark. The only issue I can really see with using the smartphone cameras that exist for this kind of device currently is that some of them do actually filter out the infrared spectrum. So they'd probably have to be modified slightly to be able to use that, unless of course you're using a different type of camera. Um, using, for example, webcams, which is some of the cameras that I showed before, um, they do have an issue where basically they are designed to look at stuff in the daylight and their lens just simply is not adequate for being able to look at stuff in the dark. But all of that can easily be overcome and it's not really that big of an issue. And I'm really hoping that this project can take off and this is my concept guys so let me know in the comments what you think about it, if you think it's stupid, if you think it's kinda cool, or if you've possibly even seen this done before. I'm genuinely kind of curious to see what the response is gonna be like.